folks, today I'm at Pop Century's food court. This is in the main hall and very busy, so you're gonna see a lot of people today, but I'm gonna give you a quick tour. All of the stations pretty much have food ready to go. They're just dipping it up. You just grab a tray here, go to any station you want. Each one has its own line, and if your group needs to separate and get different things, that's fine. Keep in mind, this food court does have mobile ordering, so use it when it gets busy, right? So the first station here is specialty entrees, it says. It's kind of create your own bowl sort of things. There's different um, vegetables, rice, there's chicken, there's meatloaf, that sort of thing. This next station, very popular, right? Pizza and pastas. And I've seen some really big pasta bowls coming out, so if you like large portions, this might be a good option for you. They do have meatball subs and uh, pizzas and breadsticks. This is the grab and go area. So they do have frozen treats here. If you want some ice cream, they've got dried goods like potato chips, cereal, cookies, and then they have baked goods. Now this always calls my name, right? All of these baked goods. And they do have some fun Mickey shapes there. Otherwise they're just normal cookies, donuts, cinnamon rolls, and muffins and such. Um, always I love to check out the cupcake display. I've seen some fantastic cupcake displays at the value resorts and this time I'm feeling eh, not so much. There's one holiday one with the deer antlers on it. That's it. And we have this blue plant-based snow land. So that's gonna turn your lips blue. And of course, the tie-dye cheesecake for Pop Century, which looks like a food coloring mess to me. And it doesn't even look like it would taste good. <laughs> okay, and then we have the Mickey ears on the classic cupcake there. There's also yogurt carpets, and there's just plain yogurt. I bought a couple of these, took to my room. Uh, Greek yogurt, a little bit of protein in there. There's fresh fruit cut up. These are handy, quick, ready to go. Lots of juice, milk options, including by the half gallon. There's pre-made salads and cold, uh, cold like uh, potato salad or like hummus and, and uh, crackers or hummus and pita. Dips that you can just grab and go. Here's baby bell cheese and some pickle spears. There's lots of drink options here, especially for the kiddos. Little waters, little milk. There's parades and bottled beverages here. Sodas, juices, monsters even. Okay. And there are alcoholic beverages like wines and beer selections here that interests you. And there's cold water to drink. Okay, moving on to the next station. Oh, let me stop here because there are drink cups here. These are for your length of stay for your resort. This is the current designs. There's pink, green, actually teal, green, and orange at the bottom. I do recommend different colors for different family members. Makes it easy. And I also like to pack my own dishwashing soap because although they have rinse and clean stations here, they do not have clean, clean stations here. And as a mom, I like to actually clean my dishes. Okay, next station is uh, barbecue, sandwiches, burgers, french fries. This would all come from here and uh, chili cheese fries and chicken strips. So that's kind of your classic there. There's one more station over here at the moment. It is closed down, the lights are off. So I don't know if this opens back up for dinner, but at the moment they only have a few pastries tucked over here in the corner, which seems to be redundant to what we already saw over in the grab and go section. 
once you take your tray over, you will do one stop pay station for everybody in your party. And then just beyond the pay station are the drink stations and there are several. Let me walk around one of them with you so we can take a look at what's being offered. So there are chip readers right here for your cups. Whether it's a single use cup or the multi-day cup, you will fill there. These are the sodas that are currently offered. All Coke products. Okay, this is the tea station. To my knowledge, there is no chip reader on this, so tea and water can be received there. I'll just turn around here for the coffee station, which has decaf and regular, and boy, these are giant, right? It's cold out and they are going by the bucket, no doubt. Here's all of your condiments here. Oh, and here's teas. They have decaf and regular tea, but they're just plain. No flavors. And they have a hot chocolate station, which is great for the cold days. And you can use your refill cup for that. All right, let me show you a couple of things that all of the hotels offer, actually. In their food court area, they have a toaster. That's huge. You could probably fit a couple of slices in there, but without dividers. But you can bring your own bread down here. You can make your own toast. And then always, there is a microwave for your use. I've used mine a couple of times already. There's more toasters here. And then there's a couple of kinds of uh, jellies and honey mustard. I'll take you through the condiment section because it's kind of important to people and I've seen uh, several people carrying large amounts of condiments for their party. So they have a ketchup and mustard dispenser here with the little cups. They have mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, salsa, honey mustard, salts, peppers, parmesan cheese for the pasta station, and red crushed pepper for your pizza, I guess. All right, that is my walkthrough tour of the Pop Century Food Court. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit like and subscribe and join me for all my tours at Walt Disney World. I'd love to book your next trip to Disney World if you have contact me at www.hereigotravelcompany.com. I'd love to chat with you about your party and what you would be interested in doing at your visit to Disney World.